Yes, Adam Silver is the Will Smith of sports commissioners. Keep my players' names out your foot. Oops, almost forgot I can't swear in the first 15 seconds. You get the idea, though. Why do I say what I say? Because there are Jada Pinkett's running around the entire league having entanglements all over the place, and he's yet to come down hard on them. I probably should have paused after that. I, I've been coming. I'm going to continue to come. Skip's been coming. He's going to continue to come. And people just need to get over that. No! Whenever you hear Adam Silver talk of some form of punishment or an action that's about to be taken, it almost always sounds like this. I would say we probably could have brought it to a head now, but we made the decision and I, and I believe the Players Association agrees with us. That's all you hear. A bunch of probablys, maybes, perhaps, and in the same breath, the Players Association gets mentioned immediately afterward. Well, yeah, they agree with that. I'm sure they do agree with you, Adam. I bet they do. We got the best fucking commissioner in sports. Yeah. Like Adam Silver. It don't get no better than him. It, it don't, dog. Just For think sure. about it. We went from having to wear suits and ties. Now you can sit on the bench now and wear a hoodie with a with a hat on under with, your with five hoodie. chains. With five chains, you might come Man, with some shorts. You can wear, I saw I saw a motherfucker <laughs> wear a hat on and had a hoodie on on the bench. <laughs> some of these niggas ain't even been asleep, man. They just coming in here straight from the bed, just sitting on the bench. <laughs> right. I don't know what I'm looking at half the time, man. You looking at Adam Silver, dog? Change the game. It's crazy because. Majority of the players got Adam Silver personal number that they could call him direct mm. and he picks up. Mm. You guys make me sick to my stomachs, fam. You know, in school, some of y'all ever have some substitutes come in for your main homeroom teacher and then people be like, oh, we had the best substitute ever. We could be as loud as we want, say whatever we want. We could even snort asbestos in the back of the classroom. Nine times out of ten, when you heard that, that's not good. When you were a kid, you were like, oh, yeah, it's great. But then when you're an adult looking back on it, you're like, yeah, that wasn't really the best teacher for us at the time. Most of everything they mentioned in support of Adam Silver being the best commissioner were not only bad, horrible, and sometimes putrid. They should have just said, you know what I love about Adam Silver? He keeps standards to the height of an ant's ankle. Man, that's great. Now, I'm not conservative on everything, and I'm not liberal on everything. But there are aspects of both sides that should be incorporated from time to time in presentation. I don't necessarily have a problem with them getting rid of the suits, especially for the coaches, because they're doing a lot of running around and all that. They be sweating up a storm. It's like, I ain't about to ruin my new suit with fluids. But the players shouldn't have to wear a suit. But if you step foot into this arena wearing the same chain that T-Pain had, you will get your ass out with the quickness. I will bar you from entering. You are a distraction. You should be playing the game. Bit him injured, coach. You can't be that injured with an acme anvil around your neck. Get out there and get a rebound. The notion, I hadn't thought of this, that even players would get up because they see that the court's different. I mean, somebody walking through an airport in a bar or in flipping their channels and seeing something different is going on tonight because the court looks very different. I hadn't thought that much about the fact that a player taking the floor would be saying, yeah, something's very different tonight. It's not a regular season game. The court looks completely different. And, and, and I always forget sometimes all those trappings are as meaningful for the players and the coaches. Trappings, trapping, 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 trapping. Now, you will play 65 games, Mr. Bond. Your load management is at an end. At last, I... Uh, Mr. Bond? Oh, he's gone. Oh, well, better luck next time. That's Adam Silver. All his traps are trash. All his traps are foobar. And they're designed to be foobar. They're to just give appearances to make the public at ease. When in actuality, the people behind the scenes are like, <laughs> this doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and if they have mustaches, they're twisting them. This is indicative of the in-season tournament or anything. I think that for the most part was a success. It's just the idea he used the word trappings. He can't just with authority say to the players, take this damn seriously like you should already be doing. Instead, this is what he does. Imagine you go into work one day and then you make your way into the employee lounge and your boss puts up a sticky note saying the super so-and-so is here or the district manager is here. Everyone try your best. 
Anyone who's not a shitty worker shouldn't even have to read that. It goes without saying. I was already doing my job the best I possibly could. Him being here means no difference. He can see me today doing great. He can pop in and peeping Tom two months from now. I'll still be doing the best I possibly can. But no, these spoiled babies need color-coded messaging in order to tell them, you should probably care. Colors? Are we one years old? Oh, look, it's green, it's yellow, it's pink. <laughs> Maybe I should get an extra assist at the trash. I can't stand this. Ooh. Relax. The most aggressive I've seen Adam Silver be on anything was Donald Sterling. Rightfully so. You banned him for life. Thank you. Anything else, you have failed. Everything, every solitary other issue or impedance that has come across the league, you have either failed to address, you address it years later, doesn't do anything, or the problem just gets kicked down the road. Adam Silver, all weekend, was pushing it. We've been talking to the players. Joe Dumars, talking to the players, you know. About we, trying we to get a competitive. play hard. Yeah, we're going to be competitive. This That's year. what I'm saying. You know, they, but, you know, they cut back. Because they thought that might help the players be loose. No. And come out and none of it. Was. And that's why I'm saying, Chris, like, for the com how embarrassing for, for Adam Silver to have egg on his face talking about that and putting that out there. He doesn't just have egg on his face. He has a whole omelet. He has the whole bird coop. He is a skillet. Adam Silver didn't seem too thrilled. He pretty much, you know, rushed through the trophy presentation and expressed his annoyance. If you don't give them an incentive when you've already established that you will incentivize other things, then this is the way they're going to react. You can debate about whether that's a bad policy and whether that was a mistake to get to that point. No, there is no debate. This was a mistake. This was a colossal failure on the leadership of the NBA's part, particularly Adam Silver, why we now exist in a timeline where we have to watch Care Bears play basketball, at least until the playoffs begin, because that's all that matters. Adam Silver is a glorified throw rug. Even John ja Morant made him look foolish because he talked to him in person saying, I'm not gonna do this again, I'm not gonna do this, that, and the other, and then does it immediately, what, a few weeks later? I'm sure even Will Smith would have put his foot down at some point, my God. Until further notice, Adam Silver is Adam Silver Slipper. He cares far more about the revenue generated and deals this, that, and the other, giving himself an extension rather than upholding a league standard that has been in place since its inception. And only now do you have players like Draymond and them questioning it. They didn't have it back then, so why should we? And he's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, you're probably right, Draymond. I love the sport, I love the league, but not enough to ignore its issues and flaws. We've tried giving them incentive, we've tried giving them less back-to-back -back games, we've tried giving them a bubble bath while we clip their toenails. When it gets like this, I just don't know how to make him stop. Have you ever tried beating his ass? 